Hello everyone! Thank you so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to make a comparison video in Canva. So let's get started. So here on Canva's homepage, we're going to select a design format that we're going to use. You can go to the custom size button right over here. And you can input your desired dimensions and choose your desired unit from here. Once you're done, click on create new design for you to be taken to the Canva editor. Or if you want to have the um, standard 1920 by 1080 format, you can just go ahead and scroll here and click on the video design format and you'll be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, so here we are. This is our Canva video editor. You have some templates over here on the search bar. I mean, on the side panel that you can um, choose from in case you want to use some templates. If you're looking for specific templates, then go ahead and use the search bar right over here. You can find the templates under the design category on the sidebar. And by the way, before you start creating your comparison video, it's very important that you upload all of your files to Canva first so that you'll be able to just edit smoothly without having to individually upload your files as you go. So go to the upload section and click on upload files. Select the files that you want to upload for example, these, and then click on open, and they'll be uploaded over here. Images go here under the images category. Videos go here on the videos category, and audio files go here on the audio category. Anyway, we're going to get started. As for me, I'm not going to be using um, a template. We're going to challenge ourselves to create something from scratch for today. But you, uh, you can be creative with your design. You can design your um, comparison video however you want to. But in my case, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to change my background first. So I'm going to click here on the color button. And we're going to select um, a nice background color that we can use for our um, design. But you can also go ahead and use gradients over here, just like that. Mm, okay, maybe we're going to use gradient today, but it all depends. Um, we can just change our design if we change our mind later on. Now I'm going to go to the element section and I'm going to add my elements. So in this case, we're going to um, pretend that we're creating a comparison video for different kinds of phones. So we're going to go to frames here because I unfortunately don't have um, my own illustrations or files that I can use. So for today's example and to have something to work on, we're just going to be using um, Canva's elements right over here. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. And I'd like to, I'd like this one to be the same size as well. Okay, so maybe we can put this one over here and this one over here. And then in order to make sure that they're centered, I'm going to select both of them and align them to the middle, just like that. Okay. Um, okay, maybe what if we just place them next to each other and do something like that? Okay. Move them below and just like that. Okay, we're going to be inserting our, this is just a frame to make it fancy, <laughs> but if you're creating a different style, you can use different frames actually. So just exit the keyword. I'm just going to go to frames, click on see all, and instead of using these um, 
phone frames, you can go with a circle frame or a rectangular frame. It all depends on you and how you'd like to design your video. And okay, I am going to be, okay, I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm going to quickly add a line. So I'm going to press L on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees and extend my line just like that. Perhaps we could change our line to a different color, say uh, white, for example. Yeah, I think it looks good. Now I'm going to be adding a text box. So let me just adjust that. You can actually quickly add a text box by pressing T on your keyboard, or you can go to the, the text button on the sidebar and click on add a text box. I'm going to put this one over here and say phone X, change it to white, turn it to bold, and maybe move it somewhere over here. Okay. You can change your font if you want to by going to the font bar right over here. And you can use any font of your choice. If you want to change your fonts color, you can do that over here as well. But I like white, so perhaps that's okay. And if you want to add effects to your text, go to effects and choose a certain effect that you want to use. You can even curve your text if that's what you want, but we're not going to be doing that today. And I'd like to keep my text plain. So now I'm going to duplicate this and put the other one here. Maybe we can name this one phone Y and make sure that it's centered. Okay. And now um, we can insert our videos over here. So I'm going to go to videos. I'm just going to put this one over here and this one over here. Say, for example, we're comparing their cameras. So I'm just going to Okay, and yeah, I'm going to be adding more text. So I'm going to add a text here, for example. I'm just going to align these to the left and turn off the bold feature. So except for this one. So you can input whatever you want to input here. I'm not a big, um, I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to specs, so I don't know what to put here, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm just going to do something like that to have something to put here at least. And I'm going to duplicate it and put the other one over here. Okay, that should be fine, I think. All right, and you can actually add animated um, animation effects to your elements. So we're going to click on an element that we'd like to animate and go to animate. And here we can choose specific um, animations. So what about this? We're going to do the same thing for this one. And this one, I'd like it to be merge. Same goes for this one. And for our frames over here, maybe we could have it baseline. And same goes for this one baseline as well. And 
and we're going to try to play our comparison video now. Oh, I think we forgot to animate our line, so it's important to do that too. Let's animate it. And what about baseline as well? I think baseline is also okay. So now we're going to try to play it. Okay, and that's it. The only thing that we're missing now is our background music. So let's go ahead and add our background music. We're going to go to up, uh, the upload section again and go to audio, the audio category. And if you haven't uploaded your audio file, then go ahead and upload it first by clicking on upload files. Select your file and then click on open so that it'll be uploaded over here. So we're going to try, um, how about this one? We're going to drag it onto our design to add it. And I just want to adjust the volume first so that it's not too loud once we play it because it can be too loud. Um, by the way, if you click on your track and if you click on this three dot button, you'll be able to see these useful tools for your audio file. So or audio track. So you can find options here to adjust it, add audio effects, but for now they only have two which are um, fade in and fade out. They've got beat sync which automatically times your transitions and your elements according to the beat of your music. You've got volume, split audio which splits your audio into two different parts, and then duplicate track and delete track. We're not going to be doing that today, so yeah, just this. So we're going to try to play our um, comparison video now. Okay. By the way, before we forget, you can keep on adding as many pages as you want until you finish um, your entire video, entire comparison video. And if you want to add transitions in between your pages, you can actually hover between the page here on your timeline and you'll be able to see two buttons. Now click on the second button or the button at the bottom. Click on it. It's called the transitions button. And from here you can choose from different transitions. So choose whichever transition you want to apply to your slides or pages. I think flow looks nice, so we're going to uh, go with it for now, just for today's example. There you go. So you can keep on repeating the same process over and over again until you're happy with your design. You can even add elements, decorative elements, or animated elements if you want to. So to add animated elements, um, we're going to try pop, for example. Go to the graphics category and go to this filter button. Scroll down and, and tick the checkbox for animated so that the results that'll show will be um, animated elements only. Select any animated element you want to apply to your um, video, comparison video. And once you finish everything, you can finally go to the share button, go to download, make sure to select mp4 as your file type, and then if you're a Canva Pro user, you also have the options to tweak these download settings here according to your preferences and once you're done you can click on download and there you have it that's how you create a comparison video right here in canva we hope you found today's video of help somehow and if you did please give this video a thumbs up to support us and please consider subscribing for more canva tutorial videos in the future Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video and you have a great day.